On this tutorial, I will describe the typical twin eye beam suspension used on four trucks and the way to adjust camber and caster angles using an aftermarket adjustment sleeve. I'm talking about the four trucks from the 1990s. These suspensions are easily adjustable with an aftermarket adjustment sleeve, which comes on different sizes or angle change variations. These suspensions consist on these main parts the radius arm, the beam, spindle, lower ball joint, upper ball joint, bolt and first nut, lower spring seat, spring, pull down washer and upper nut, and finally the adjustment sleeve. Here's a view from the front. One of the problems with this type of suspension is the great camber change as the spring sags down due to normal wear and tear or an overload condition. So as the spring sags down, camber goes negative. In this illustration, we are looking at the very typical two degree camber decrease. We can correct this condition changing the springs. This is perhaps the best solution. However, sometimes this is not possible, so the solution would be to install an aftermarket adjustment sleeve. Now, the original sleeve is not adjustable. It has a tab that goes in the slot and has a small adjustment range, usually less than one degree. Also does not have the hex on top to grab it with the wrench or the channel lock pliers. In special circumstances, you could grind off the tab and use it if the adjustment required is small enough, or you might have some leftover from another vehicle. Here's an aftermarket sleeve, a two degree angle change. They are available on several graduations, one degree, 1.5 to 2.5 degree, if we rotate the sleeve, we can see the position of the eccentric hole moving around. This will move the spindle around like we see here on the top view. However, the lower ball joint remains on the same position, changing the angle of the spindle on both camber and caster at the same time. To determine which eccentric sleeve to use, first we will take an initial reading with the aligner. Print or write down the angle. Then we look at the factory or aftermarket sleeve and write down the angle and position of the cam. If the angle is zero, then just get a sleeve with the value of your initial alignment readout plus 0.5 degrees. But if the cam is more than zero, then note the position and depending if it's facing towards the inside or outside, you then add or subtract that amount to the original reading plus 0.5 degree. Remember the caster will also change, so you have to make sure you have enough adjustment on the cam to move caster just enough to make it even with the other side. The adjustment, as you can see, is pretty straightforward. However, if the angle to correct is excessive, then the replacement of parts will be necessary to achieve a good alignment. I hope this tutorial is helpful and thank you for watching.